from the KATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, it looks to stay quite mild over the next several days. We have a more March or even April like forecast moving forward, but changes down the line. So let's take a look at this. This is the temperatures across the US earlier today. As we will go throughout the day, you see extremely cold air working its way southward. Uh, sub zero readings in the pink right here, and then you go all the way down to the lower Rio Grande in Texas, and you're looking at temperatures in the mid 90s. And this is a perfect setup for a big storm system. You have very warm air, 70s all the way up through Knoxville. Then you have the cold air. You have the warm air overriding the cold air. You either get a wintry mix, ice, or snow and that's what has been all the way back through the west coast and here's the radar satellite composite with the pressure and you can see we have snow just about coast to coast from the west to the east coast a nice band of snow up here showers to the south with a little bit of a frontal trough that worked its way close to us and that helped spark off the showers that we were expecting today uh, but once again lots going on with winter storm warnings blizzard warnings for a good part of uh, the dakotas into minnesota blizzard warnings is you get into uh, Wyoming and even California winter storm warnings across here and high wind warnings as well. And this I just thought was incredible. You have blizzard warnings in the mountains just outside of the LA basin. I have never seen that before and winter storm warnings in the mountains all the way down to the Mexican border. So more moisture the, these areas need the moisture the areas interior areas don't get it, but at least they're getting it at elevation and that will help out with some of the reservoir action to the west, but it's just a little bit of a band aid on a, a trend that has been going in the wrong direction for the last 30, 40 years. Meanwhile, here locally, plenty of clouds. We continue to see that. We did see some showers, and those showers pretty much have gone by the wayside. Looks like most of the Doppler sweeps here are clean. A little ground clutter showing up off of Fork Poke and also uh, Shreveport, but overall relatively quiet. So we're socked in with the clouds. Those clouds come down a little bit. Visibility reduces with temperature temperatures and dew points in the lower 70s and your water just by the coast still in the 60s or in some cases the upper 50s but mostly 60s you get that air chilled and that uh, produces that cloud cover and it sits down on you hopefully some breaks in the clouds for the afternoon upper 70s to lower 80s this frontal boundary runs out of gas so we stay on the mild side of things chilly not too far to the north but we don't see a front passing on through until about Monday so temperatures once again near 70 to start and and upper 70s to lower 80s for highs. As for fog, here's the latest imagery coming in on the graph model, looking a little bit better, showing us that fog situation probably reaching the I-10 quarter. Visibility is mostly in the half mile range. This is not super thick fog. It's kind of like a hybrid of sea fog coming in and also lowering cloud decks. And that's gonna be the MO in the days ahead. That fog burns off pretty quickly, but we'll have mostly cloudy skies lasting for most of the day. Temperatures start out near 70. We get into the lower 80s to Tomorrow, more than likely, if we have breaks in the clouds, back down to near 70 for Friday morning and pushing the lower 80s, which is awfully hard to do in February, uh, the latter part of February after the cold winter. But this time around, it's been a mild winter ever since December, right around Christmas. So 70 the low with some fog moving in overnight tonight. The breeze eases out there. And then for tomorrow, there'll be a little bit of a breeze, but not as gusty as today. Morning overcast and fog giving way to mostly cloudy skies and Hopefully a few intervals of sunshine in the afternoon. 81 the high, much the same Friday, Saturday as well with plenty of clouds some morning fog. Maybe a little bit more sunshine on Sunday. Front comes in Monday, windy, and then plenty of sun Tuesday, Wednesday before the next weather maker. And maybe a potent one arrives a week from Friday. That's it for weather for right now. We're going to have more coming up right after the break.